Taurus, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your High Priestess reading. So I chose this card because of the wording at the bottom that says intuition. And that is exactly what our uh, what, what the Higher Priestess represents in our lives is um, our higher selves intuition. Oh wow, okay, so your guidance card is Love Begins. I'm just gonna put that there then. <laughs> okay, Taurus, <laughs> that was your guidance card by the way. So the reason um, why I'm doing this reading specifically is because sometimes we, we're we supposed to be hearing the voice of our higher selves, we don't, or we might misinterpret. And I think it would be a great idea if we can see what our higher selves really is trying to tell us. So, Taurus, let's get into this. I love how these cards line up. Oh, I just, I can't get over it. I think I've, I've said it in every video I've done so far because every time it just gets me, it looks like this explosion of light. It's beautiful. And it is the light seer's tarot, so it's quite pretty. Okay, Taurus, first one, what is your intuition trying to show you that you don't see? And we have the Knight of Swords. So this is a card of... Um, Sorry, not the Knight of Swords, but the, I, I think I, I, it's the Knight of Wands, Taurus. Goodness gracious, sorry. This is the Knight of Wands. Now, this is very fast-moving energy, but it's extremely passionate. See that horse there in the background? Now, Wands is a fire energy, and fire energy has the um, the need to be free. It needs to, it's, it's very spirited, it's very passionate. And this, what you don't see is maybe, maybe your passion in life is something that your intuition is, what your higher self is trying to lead you to and you simply don't see it. Right, I've, quite a few of, of the readings so far has been exactly that, which is interesting. And it's interesting because it was the fire signs that had it. And now this is a, this is, this is a, a, a wands energy, fire energy. Right, so next up is, what is it that you see as a negative that your higher self, the high priestess, sees as a positive? Okay, so this, this is the eight of wands. This is extremely fast-moving energy. So you see things happening in your life as very negative in the fact of it's going too fast. It feels like you're on a roller coaster. Remember your Taurus. You don't like things moving fast. You, you can't handle fast-moving things very well. And... You, so this is why you would see this as a negative. But I tell you now, the high priestess is coming in saying this is a positive thing. I see very fast moving energy for you here. And you are Taurus. You don't like moving fast. Interesting. So now, what is it that you see as a positive and your high priestess sees as a negative? Okay, so this is the four of wands. Now, four of wands in, in most decks... Um, represents um, stability, it represents um, a happy and stable life. This Four of Wands card is also a card of completion. It's a card of you're rejoicing because see you're on the other you're on the other side. This is like you won the race, you completed the race, you're now rejoicing and celebrating because you've completed this race. Um, and I feel that you think, because you're not used to moving so fast, Taurus, that you think you're at the end and you're not. Um, you are celebrating because you think you've done it now, you're, you've completed this, and then you're not. Your higher self is telling you, no, 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 no. You, you, you can't celebrate yet because you haven't finished the race. Yes, it's fast moving, but it hasn't, it hasn't finished yet. Oh my gosh, sorry, Taurus. Next up is, what is the reason why you flipped these two? Because you so desperately want to be triumphantly successful. You want this to be a good outcome. but And this is why you're doing this. You think, okay, well, I've moved so damn fast. It's got to be the end now. And it's not. You want to win the race. But you can't win the race when the race is not done yet. Then you will lose the race. Wow. Okay. What lesson does the High Priestess want you to learn right now? The Hanged Man. Slow down and center yourself. Go back inside yourself. Go into meditation. And 
see that you are still running this race. You are not done yet. This is someone that deliberately slows everything down around them in order to see the light from within. Taurus, you need to slow down in yourself. Don't slow down the energy because if you slow down the energy, you might trip and fall. Don't do that. Simply go within and see what this is about. And then we see love begins. Now, um, I chose this deck because of the intuition card that I wanted, but this is the Ace of Cups. So this is not necessarily just romance. This can be anything. Yeah, it seems like it's romance because the one's energy is positive. Uh, sorry, the passionate energy. It's fire energy. But this can also be something like a new business that you're starting or something, maybe a new job or, or it can be a romantic partnership. But whatever this is, the promise is there, Taurus, but you, you simply need to keep on running. Don't stop yet. So Taurus, um, I hope this helped. Um, if you would like a personal reading, please follow the link in the description box down below to my website and I will be seeing you again soon. Take care.